All right, I'll call the meeting of the Traffic Commission to order. Can we have a uh, roll call? Sure can. Sergeant Schenick? Here. Mr. Stillian? Here. Mr. Rowe? Here. Mr. Hall? Here. Mr. Cowdell? Absent. We have a quorum. All right. Uh, has everybody read the minutes of uh, last month's meeting? If so, motion to accept. Second. Motion made uh, and seconded to accept the minutes from the last meeting. All those in favor? Aye. 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 That's a vote. All right. I will open the uh, public hearings, the new business under number E13. Establish no parking here to corner on both sides of Arthur Street at the intersection of Boston Street. Now, is that uh, on your list, Mary? This is a new one to just keep. Oh, down. okay. And okay. Uh, I reside at 35 Arthur Street and would appreciate it if no parking here to corner signs could be posted. Everyday cars are parked at the beginning of Arthur Street on both sides of the street. This makes it very difficult to make the turn from Summer Street to Arthur Street. If a car is coming up Arthur Street, it makes it even more difficult. The people that are parking there don't live on the on Arthur Street, they live on Summer Street. Last night I witnessed them park the car right at the beginning of Arthur and walk down Summer. If a fire truck needs to come down our street, they would not make it. A lot of the residents, residents on Arthur Street are getting tired of the situation. We would love to see signs posted. This would be very helpful for all of us on Arthur Street. I appreciate you taking the time to address this issue. Any further questions, feel free to contact me. And there's a phone number, Laurie Sanderson. When was that email from, Mary? Uh, I got it on May 19th. Okay. Uh, the councilor did ask me to start, and I don't know if you got the thing too about starting to tag down there. We've been doing it, our night shift's been tagging, so that should have Not been that I've heard, but um, <clears throat> do we even need to have a public hearing on that? Where it's you know you can't park the 20 feet to the corner anyway. Anyhow, with or without a sign. Yeah, without a, a sign. So blanket but ordinance couldn't, on that for the state, yeah. I believe. Couldn't yeah. couldn't the DPW just put some signs? Of course. Refer yep. to. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Mayor, would you send me an email to that effect? Yeah. Sure. Will. How about uh, we just we make a it a formal that, motion you, you to one? refer it to yes. the DPW? Yep. I'll make the motion. Second that. Motion made and seconded to refer it to the DPW. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Well, it's a vote. So the signs will go up on Arthur Street, 20 yes. feet back from the intersection. Yeah, you'll yep. see the what I wrote down there, because in the, it's a dead end street, but the cars are parking on both sides facing the same direction, and it really made it difficult to get, if anyone was coming in, you, you couldn't. Yeah, we've been tagging pass. the corners lately, and we've been getting quite a yeah. few tickets. It's, it's, yeah. Especially at night. Mm -hmm. All right, number 814, Sachem Terrace established no parking on trash day or on one side of the street. Please, okay, let me find this. Um, this actually was a call to the DPW, and Cheryl referred it to me. She just sent over all the info. Um, her trash day was missed again. Um, her normal trash day is Wednesday. Her name is Hannah Walsh, 10 Sachem Terrace, apartment one. And you missed our whole street again. You need to come tomorrow or there will be garbage all over the street and rats. I will call in the morning, um, but not sure why they keep missing the street. But she also uh, wrote to Cheryl, she's thinking that commuters or college students are parking on Sachem Terrace on both sides of the street and causing issues for the trash trucks and residents who live there. She said the six houses on the street have driveways and most of them park there. I suggest maybe the traffic commission could help by looking into one side parking or resident parking. Can you contact her to discuss? And that was her, Cheryl. Cheryl talked to her at length and then forwarded it to me. And it is a very narrow street, again, and a trash truck couldn't make it up if you parked your car in the beginning of it. One side of the street is, um, driveways for apartment buildings it's like a big parking area mm -hmm. and the other side I think there were maybe two or three houses and everybody there that day was parked in their driveway so which side is she proposing that we make the lady that lives there um, she lived at number 10 and if you go up the street that's the left side so either or I would I think we'd do it on her side if that's yeah. If she doesn't think it's a big deal, I think there were maybe the three houses. There were only yeah. three houses on the street. 
I mean, is it going to matter if it's one side or the other? Because then they'll have problems on the other side, right? Well, the truck well, can't fit down. That's yeah. yeah. As long as one side's yeah. clear, the truck should be able to fit it, down. It should be able to fit with one side clear. Yeah. Yeah, not as many on the other side mm -hmm. because of the large parking lot for the building. Mm -hmm. So a lot of it was curbed. All right. Well, first of all, I'll ask you, is anyone here to speak in favor of this petition? It's not, no, it's not, not, public, it's not a public hearing. Oh, it's not a public hearing. <coughs> so the, right. what we're looking we for is an action to either set it down for public oh, hearing right. or yeah. keep yeah. it on the table and yeah, if right. you want to look at it more. Yeah, I think okay. I'd like to look at this one. Is that possible? Go down yeah, there let's just now. leave it on the table. Let's table it. Yeah. Yeah, table. Motion to table. Second. Motion, motion made and seconded to table it. All those in favor? Aye. Right. Table for view. Table. Yeah, I just want to double check if that's, you know, maybe, maybe it is, maybe it does have to be both okay. sides. I don't know. And I'd, I'd rather Let's do it right the first time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, number E15 established no parking in front of 8 Oneida Street. Okay, and this um, came in from, actually, he called me and I asked him to put it in writing. Dear Mary, I live at 8 Oneida Street, Lynn Mass, 01902, between my driveway and number 10 is a narrow strip of curb. Not enough room for a car to park, but they park anyway. So I would like to get a parking sign to keep them away. Thanks for your help. Sincerely, Richard Perry, 8 Oneida Street. I'll make a motion to set that one down for a public hearing. Okay. Uh, and uh, we may not meet in July. So you might want to make emergency preambles for some, mm -hmm. just in case, but well, how this are you on the on table. On I mean, it didn't look like there was... Are you fine? I, I don't think it was big enough to put a car into that space without it going over anyways. Which so. would get tagged anyhow. Yeah. So do you need a, are you afraid the sign's going to get hit by a plow or doing the sidewalks? Was that your concern? We, we can put a sign in there if it, if it makes the guy happy. Um, it, it seems like a crazy spot to put a car to begin with. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, do I have a motion or? Yeah, I'll make. You got fine with doing it? Yeah, I don't yeah. have a problem. Make a motion Second. to. Second. You want to do the emergency? Yeah, well, uh, what, is, what is that? Um, I, I will do an, um, an ordinance, an emergency preamble. I will send that to you. The sign can go up, and then it will be Before advertised. the public hearing. Or do you oh, want to wait in case it. people come at the public hearing? I, that one's, I don't, I'm not worried about controversy on that one. So I mean, just you get a tag if you park there right now. Make a motion for an emergency? Yeah. Okay. Make a motion for an emergency? Second. Seconded. Motion made and seconded to put no parking in front of 8 Oneida Street with an emergency preamble. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? There are none. It is a vote. Mary, in, in your notes for that one, could you specify it as the approximate eight foot section of curb between number eight and number 10 12? Oh, yes. Just so we know what we're talking about, yes. my end. If you don't mind. Yep, Thank absolutely. Uh, number 816 established 15 minute parking in front of 95 Linway. The uh, Caribbean Choice and Variety Store. Now there is a 15-minute parking um, spot there currently. I thought it was 30. And then there's a 30-minute on the DCR portion of the Linway. Now, so who has jurisdiction on that? Is that us or I, is that them? I don't know. We, I've um, I believe we've been told that 15-minute sign up. It, isn't it by the? Um, uh, I've been told that that was all DCR, and the traffic commission couldn't touch it before because. They were told it was DCR. Okay. And, so there um, is a there is a fifteen minute further down. I think is the fifteen, isn't it? <clears throat> There's like a jog in the yeah. um, in the curb there, so he can get one. If you're in his doorway, looking out at the street, the car on the right is in a fifteen spot, and the car on the left, which is Correct. further out in the linway, is in a thirty minutes. What, what I've been told is the one to the right actually falls into Lynn property, and that's why they did the fifteen minute and the other there. Is DCR. But the other one right in front of the store is DCR property, so that. they never touched it. I could see that. Make a motion to refer to DCR. All right. Motion. Second. And second in, yeah, refer so it to the... Unless we want to get an opinion from the law department. Is it a hazard? Is it theirs? Give it to the DCR. Yeah. 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 Just give it to them. 
Yeah. Well, I know we ran into this um, down at um, Ocean Street at Lynchshore Drive. Yes. There's a bunch of residents down there that want to be able to park on Lynchshore Drive. It's all bite line. But yep. can't. Right. And DCR hasn't been super helpful in that issue. And it's their property. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know. Well, but we referred it to them because we couldn't. Uh, there's a, deal with there's it. a motion is it on the, the table. Side, it's the OC side forest, I believe, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's right in the old portal. Okay. Motion to refer. Okay. Made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Right. Right. It is a. It was a florist, Mary. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Salvi. Runway Flowers is something. Maria's sisters. That's who told me the DCR. Yeah. They were told the DCR. So, all right. That's referred to DCR. Uh, the next one, 817, eliminate parking on Western Ave from the intersection of Walden Street to the intersection of Edwards Court. So this is this is one that I brought to the committee um, or commission. Um, the market basket is being built down at the former GE factory, the future site, and in order to um, mitigate traffic effects in that area. They're going to modify some traffic signals, um, and one of the signals that's getting modified is at the intersection of Western Ave and Spencer Street, which is right in front of the Westland Post Office. Um, they're trying to make a left turn lane for westbound traffic, um, and as such, they need to eliminate two on-street parking spots in front of the post office. Um, so. And, and I'm told that the post office is going to close. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So I would like to make a motion that we um, eliminate on-street parking on Western Ave, the even side, from Walden yeah, Street to Edwards Court. No, no, no. I mean, if, they, okay. if the post office is going out, I mean. From... Um, and I'd like it to take effect on the beginning of construction down there because the post office is currently open. Mm -hmm. So we'll wait uh, till. You making a motion or me to? Um, I'll make a motion at the discretion of the DPW to start it, no parking when he wants. Leave it to your discretion. Do they have any idea when they're going to start the construction? Um, they're pretty vague. They're, they aim to open the store August a year from now. So I'll make a motion that to leave it to the discretion of the DPW when to start enforcing it. That will be when that when closes anyway, it. correct? Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. So How's that for you, Andy? That way you can That's fine, no. job all game. Okay. Second? Right. Second. Motion made and seconded to uh, leave it up to the DPW as to when the uh, signs are right. Put those signs up, eliminating those two parking spaces. In front of the so how does that work? Is this do we is this a public hearing, Mary? No, you you want it to you want it to be advertised for the next meeting. Mm. Okay. So now what's the pro what happens if the construction starts before starts then? before the meeting? That's why I was asking when's the construction. We'll need so. to have an emergency the emergency meeting. preamble. Yeah. We can vote on now. I just have to add it. Emergency preamble. That way you could do the signs if you advertise. had to. Advertise. Okay. And There's a good chance. It, we won't. But there's a chance you might. Yeah, so be so, safe. Yeah, okay. Right. Okay. So we're going to have a motion to actually advertise it. Advertise it. it but with the preamble. Preamble. With, that we with can put them up. Preamble. Yeah. At mm -hmm. his discretion. All those in favor? Aye. All right. Let's vote. All right. Number. 818 established one hour parking in front of 322 Broadway, Kensington, uh, Kensington Barbershop, 324 Broadway, Janeri's Beauty Salon, and 328 A Broadway, The Lazy Dog. Um, there were one hour signs up there at one time, and yeah. when all the new construction. There are done. still in front of Lazy Dog. No, no. Um, yeah, I was up there today. Um, there's a there's a one hour spot right in front of Rollies. Yes, Rollies. There's Correct. an ordinance for. There is there is no ordinance for. I had uh, Mary Gokas look a lot of this up for me, and um, 330, 334 to 340 in 1992 was 15 minutes. 
314 was 15 minutes, 336 Rollies, one hour, and that was just a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. 338 one hour, and that was in 207, and then 328A, there, there was nothing for that one and nothing for the others, and 366 has a uh, 30 minute for two spaces, but that's all that, that she found. But they're just requesting one hour for those three businesses, and uh, the, uh, some of the others have 15 minute signs in front of them, mm -hmm. and they want to leave them. Right, but if you if you look at it, there's not enough there's not enough spaces to have 15 minute spaces and one hour spaces up there. Um, they did before. before but now they have with the crosswalks, they have a 40 foot spot in front of it. in front of the crosswalk, so mm -hmm. that someone at the crosswalk is visible from the street. Oh. And then between that, then the fire hydrants, um, it's so so like the liquor store. The really liquor store it. always wanted 15 minutes. Right, and if you put yes. A one hour yeah. in front of um, they the lazy dog. The yeah, the liquor store requested yeah. the 15. 15. Yeah. So one of his 15 minute spots is gone because of the crosswalk in the mm -hmm. spot. And then there's another one next to it. And then you have the hardware store. I mean, it's, it's, that's kind of a sticky, uh, sticky one. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if we do advertise it, for a, for a public hearing. They're, they're asking for an emergency preamble on this one. I, I'm that. not keen on the emergency preamble on that one, just because those guys, I mean, putting the signs, drilling holes in the brand new sidewalk is problematic anyway. So mm -hmm. we're putting up signs, taking down signs, I'd like to get, again, I'd like to get it right the first time. Mm -hmm. But, so so we have the TV shop in there and we have an insurance company in there. Um, the, Chinese and you have the lady Chinese dog food takeout. That the, I imagine he wants 15 store. minutes. Yeah. The hardware store has 15 minute signs in front of it. Mm. Um, I'll make a motion to advertise it, um, and I'll bring back a scale drawing of what's up there, so we can kind of map up. I mean, there's only room for like five cars, and there's at least five businesses. Motion to advertise. Any second? I'll second that. Second. Motion made and seconded to advertise. All those in favor? Okay. Mm -hmm. I, went, I went through this with the owner. He's, he's the new owner of that liquor store up there. Yes. And it had parking before the Broadway project. Mm -hmm. And now he's got less. And I'm trying to convince him, oh, this is going to be good for you. Now, to take that spot to away. To take from that him, spot away. I, I think that's yeah. not fair at all. Yeah. Um, I mean, we, we can advertise, we can you know, see what the people say and stuff. You can do the drawing. I mean, uh, Mary, that's not going to be advertised to what, September? Well, it could be possibly September. Yeah. I mean, if any, I mean, maybe one spot, if if any. I mean, the, the rest of the business is all required the 15 minute. Yeah. They're looking for 15 because it's all in and out stuff. We'll advertise, take it up at that point. All right. Okay. I, I'll call um, Mr. Mr. Dill, Dill and let him know. And if he has any questions, I'll, can I refer them to you? Of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Uh, number 819, establish stop signs at the following intersections. Uh, on Atkinson Street at the intersection of Walnut, on Kenomo Ave at the intersection of Magnolia Ave, on Magnolia Ave at the intersection of Euclid Ave, and on Mayfair Street at the intersection of Broadway. I can um, expand on this a little bit. Now these are these are four streets that were um, recently paved and we went to paint the lines. You know, we're gonna paint a stop bar and there's no stop sign. Um, I think if you drive any of these roads, you would think if you're smart, you're gonna stop mm -hmm. anyways. Yeah. But um, I would like to, um, Make a motion to with an emergency preamble to advertise this for public hearing. These Second. four. One, two, three, four. Four. Yep. One. Yep. There's four of them. Second. Atkinson at Walnut, Canomo at Magnolia, Magnolia at Euclid, and Mayfair at Broadway. Mm -hmm. Second. Okay, motion made and seconded to advertise with an emergency preamble. All those in favor? Aye. Right. Right. That's a vote.
right. Old business. Uh, number 812, established no parking on the odd side of Bonnie Terrace. Do we want to do anything with that? Um, yes, we uh, table that uh, for correspondence from the fire department. Right. Well, we have a motion to take it off the table then. Yep. I'll make that motion. Second. Motion made and seconded to take it off the table. All those in favor? Aye. All right, it's a vote. Okay, go to, um, we sent correspondence to Chief McDonald, and he wrote, at the request of your commission, on Wednesday, May 25th, 2.16, at approximately 12.30 hours, I visited Varney Terrace to determine the impact of vehicles being allowed to park on the street. After that visit, I concur with the petition submitted on this matter regarding no parking allowed on the right side of the roadway at any time. To allow parking on both sides of the roadway will create a situation in the winter time that will narrow the roadway to too narrow of a lane so as to allow emergency apparatus and vehicles to ingress and egress on Varney Terrace. Parking on both sides of Varney Terrace simultaneously would also create a situation that would decrease our ability to provide standard public safety efforts. If you have any further questions or requests, please feel free to contact this office at this time. And it's the odd side that, uh, that's the right side going in that they want. <laughs> that's that's what I was going to ask. Is, he said the right side. Is that the odd side? But odd it side. is. All right. Yes. Um, I'd like to make a motion to advertise this one with a, an emergency preamble. Second. Motion made and seconded to advertise with an emergency preamble for no parking on the odd side. All those in favor? Aye. 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 It's a vote. Okay. Who seconded Andy's? I did not. Uh, do we want to touch any of the other ones? Um, I don't think we have anything for the next week. Uh, number 803, I spoke to the law department today and they were still compiling still something. We had sent them correspondence. It wasn't River Street, yet. they're still working on that down there too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the Orange Court, were you going to do a, um, or were they going to Yeah, the they, and they're not, they're, they're um, the ball's in their court basically, I'm waiting to hear from All them. Right. How about 810 established four-way stop at the intersection of Moulton and Walnut? I believe um, I did that. some traffic data and we had tabled it. Yeah. It was tabled last month. Um, Kevin was absent there and weren't a wanted lot of his access. input. No. Um, In 2010, there was one, 2011, one, 2012, one, 13, zero, 14, zero, 15, one, 16, two. Of the six crashes reflected above, it should be noted that appears that three were due to operators not obeying the stop sign on Moulton Street. Two involved operators who stated that they stopped at the reference stop sign, but then were struck while in the intersection. One was a minor side sweep during school dismissal when traffic is heaviest. Mm -hmm. Do we want to do anything about that? Take it off? Or I'll make a motion we take it off the table. Motion made to take it off the table. Made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. And so, taken off the table. You want or the wishes of the board. Accept it for the file. I'll make a motion to accept it for the file. Uh, seconds. Motion made and, and seconded. Any? You're still thinking. So. Mm. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're not ideal, these four way stops. Mm -hmm. um, and that those numbers don't seem to justify putting a sign up there. Mm -hmm. So I'm. Mm -hmm. I'm Motion made and seconded that we accept it for the file. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. It's a vote. Is there anything else? That's it. That is it. Get another meeting. Make a motion. Make a motion. Uh, we adjourn. Second. Well, we get a, when's the next meeting day first, yeah? Uh, well, it can either be July or September. Usually they Usually they go to September, right? Yeah. I, this um, you want to do a July? Yeah. You want to do a July meeting? That's fine. All right. Is that? That's fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. I get no life. <laughs> uh, when well, is the meeting in July? Yeah. That's that's. that's <laughs> oh wait, actually, I'm getting a text. July will be July nineteenth. I think we Motion had to adjourn. <laughs> uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.